Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you around the most deprived area in Gloucestershire, and that's Podsmead. Now, this isn't just my opinion based on what I think about the area. Gloucestershire City Council released an Indices of Deprivation report, and based on a number of criteria, Podsmead came last by a long way. So what does it mean to live in the most deprived area in Gloucestershire? Well, as you will see from the footage, for a start, there's litter literally everywhere. I can't think of many areas in the country that I've been to where I saw more litter and more large items being dumped on the streets. People seem to think it's okay to just drop beer cans and packets of food or dump large items in their front gardens hoping the council will magically just pick them up. The local paper also ran a story on Podsmead saying that men from the most deprived areas in Gloucestershire die almost nine years sooner on average than those from more affluent areas. So that's pretty depressing. On the housing side, there's also this bizarre contrast of being mostly small bungalows that look like they came flat packed from Ikea and large social housing tower blocks that are quite terrifying. Zupla states that the average house price in Posmead was around 240k last year which is pretty surprising if I'm honest. There's a couple of mattresses in the front garden there, look. I'm not sure if I caught them all on camera, but I saw at least eight, I think eight or nine dumped mattresses whilst I was walking around Posmead. And as I entered the main area of Posmead here, I couldn't help but notice the C word written on the side of this house in chalk. That's right, it's not even spray paint, it's kids chalk. So I think it's safe to assume that the kids who live there wrote that on the house. And as you'll find on all council estates, there are some pretty good amenities provided for the residents to use. It's usually the case that they just trash them. That's the basketball court there. This is a play area for the smaller kids. This is the National Lottery funded Podsmead Hub, which is like a community centre of sorts. Here is the news agents or a convenience store that serves the local community. A little further on, you have a couple of fast food places. This first one, the Gloucester Grill, um, it's not my words, but apparently the manager of the glasses is an absolute knobhead and the food is drier than the Sahara Desert. How about we take a minute now to enjoy some of the architectural wonders of Podsmead? This has to be the ugliest block of flats I've ever seen. If you know of an uglier building, please tell me in the comments where it is, I'd love to see it. Nosing around in an alleyway at the back of the flats, you can see there's a load more balconies here with mattresses and other junk stored on them. It was about 10am when I walked around here and the music was blaring so loud out of these flats I could hear it about 500-600 yards away. That's a pretty cool shot of some junk and a refrigerator there. This bungalow with a tin roof has just sold for 120,000 and was listed as a fixer up project. Okay, I don't want to sound like some sort of wacky conspiracy theorist, but living within a stone's throw of a power plant this large, having this loud, can't be good for your health. Plus it has to be outright disturbing at night. I could hear this thing from hundreds of yards away. Anyway, I don't want to make out like it's all doom and gloom in Posmead. It may be statistically the most deprived area in Gloucestershire, and it is pretty depressing for the most part. But they do have some cool stuff, like this community pond and green space. Sure, there aren't any koi carp here and you won't see flowers blossoming in the summer and an abundance of wildlife. But if you want to get out of the concrete jungle for 10 minutes, it's here. <coughs> this is the Ramblers Club, where you can come for a quiet pint in the evening. It looks highly fortified, but I'm sure that's for your own safety. Beer garden looks pretty nice though. So there you have it, that's Podsmead. 
it may be statistically the most deprived area in Gloucestershire, but I like to think there's a cracking community spirit here and a lot of hope for the future. If you found this video even the slightest bit enjoyable, please press the like and subscribe button so we can grow and reach more people. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.